I'm at Gibbs Middle School. I'm at the intersection of science and technology and art. Started my day visiting with some of the kids that were programming a robot, a Sphero, and making the robot go through a maze and also saw some really cool 3D printing that they'd done. Then moved over to the art section where I learned a couple sewing stitches. Um, my background was in math. I taught math for six years. And while I was doing that, I got my master's in educational technology. I don't personally feel that you can really have engineering and design without art and creativity. Well, my grandmother at first, when I was younger, had me drawing the funny papers. Um, and that was pretty much the only influence that I had in art. And so when I finally got to college and they said, what do you want to be? I said, I guess I want to be in art. I got my bachelor's in fine arts and my master's in teaching. I have a daughter and she is about to graduate from MTSU in teaching. And so I think that just watching me go through with my education and getting my teaching degree and license and watching me teach the last 12 years has definitely influenced her. Art teaches creative thinking and problem solving. I mean, I think that in every aspect of that we do, there's art from design, the, the idea of design thinking of, uh, from in your science and engineering, prototyping and things like that. We do a lot of that in our art classes. Yeah, well, if you think about people like Leonardo da Vinci, one of the world's greatest inventors, he was also an artist. And then in da Vinci's case, he didn't have the technology to build some of the things that he designed. Of course, nowadays we do, and it's a little different. Uh, but nevertheless, um, I think that even for kids who may not be inclined for technology, when you show that art is part of it, I think it really opens up a different world for them. 50% of our workforce is female but only 27, 28% um, of our workforce is represented by females in STEM jobs. So I like that my students see me in the STEM role as a female so that they associate this with anybody. If they're a girl or a boy, if you have that STEM background, it's going to let you experience or do more in the future.